Hello, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up the CA8345 from your PC using our PAT3 software. That said, let's get started. So let's take a look at how we configure the CA8345 using our PAT3 software and your PC. The first step, obviously, is to go to the CA8345 page on our .co.uk website. Scroll down to the bottom to the support section and you will see a download link there for our PAT3 software. Download the file, unzip and install it, and then you should be looking at something like I've got up on the screen here. So let's take a closer look. Okay, so here we are within the PAT3 software and the first thing we need to do is add an instrument. So if I go to Instrument and Add an Instrument, now, in this case, the CA8345 is connected to our network, so I'm going to click Ethernet, Next, and then I simply put in the IP address. You can find the IP address in the Network Settings page on the CA8345. So if I simply add in the IP address and press Next, we then see that the instrument's been identified, and we press Finish. So in here now, we can see that the CA8345 has been connected. We can see the connection status is connected. And we can see we've got the little green tick by the side of the device serial number. So there's a few things straight away we can do on here. So if we just click on the device itself, we can see some basic data about how it's configured and the time and date that it's set to, for example. And then below this, we can see the recorded sessions. So it's very simple when we're looking at the data that's been recorded in the device, we can simply see it here. And if we want to view any data, we just simply click on the various tabs and it will show us the data that's been recorded within the device. We can also see in here some real time data coming from the device, which will give us the real time values and we can analyze those in real time. But what we're here to do today is to look at the actual configuration process. So to do that, we simply click on the actual uh, device serial number, and then you'll notice that we get this little spanner and screwdriver icon, and it says Modify in Instrument Configuration. So if I click on that, it will now read the configuration from the device, so the current configuration, and it will load that up into PAT3. So here we are, we've got the uh, configuration loaded up into PAT3. And we can see we can scroll up and down here and we've got the various tabs down the side here to do the configuration. So if we start off in the setup tab here, there's a few basic items we can see. So the first thing we can see here is that we can configure the type of distribution system that we're actually working on. This would usually be say single phase two wire and you can see from the diagram on the side here how that's configured or maybe three phase four wire. So you simply pick the configuration that suits and check it on the diagram. Underneath here, we've got other options for configuring the timing signal. So the timing signal that we want to use, whether we want GPRS, whether we want to use a network timing signal or whether we manually want to set that. Obviously timing is very important for the class A accuracy of the CA8345. And there's a few other items moving down here that we probably don't need to mess about with for now. Uh, but these are things like main signaling, voltage detection, um, K factor for transformers, nominal frequency, and a few other items in there. So we just go down and set those accordingly. The next tab is sensors and ratios. So if we're actually using voltage transformers to carry out the, uh, the measurements, we can set the ratios for the voltage transformers. And down here in the current sensors tab, any current sensors that we're using will be detected by the instrument and displayed here. If we are using other CTs, something like the MN93A, uh, which is designed to be used with current transformers, we can actually vary the ratios here as well. The instrument display tab gives us the option to set the time and date formats, select the display language, the shutdown options, display brightness. We can also configure the colors that are used within the instrument to display the various phases currents and voltages. We can select units for energy, for example, in this case, watt hours, and we can set a number of other options on here due to the way that the items are displayed. In the communications tab, 
we can set up the IRD communications. So the IRD server is our relay server, which allows remote access to the device. That can be configured in this tab here. Alarm settings. We've talked about alarms in previous videos, but this gives us the options to set all of the alarm conditions within here. Trends allows us to select our different trend modes and configure what is actually logged in each of those trend modes. Transients we can use to configure what we class as a transient, so the trigger points for the transients. Inrush current again allows us to set the trigger points for the inrush capture events. Class A events allow us to set the parameters for events that would be captured using a monitoring session. And we'll talk about that a little bit more in a moment. Energy tariffs gives us the ability to actually set a unit price for the electricity that we buy. And we can also set overrides, for example, if we got cheaper electricity for a certain time at night. Schedule gives us the ability to schedule all of the different events from one page. So if we wanted to schedule a trend event, transients, inrush or alarm sessions, all of those can be set and configured from here. So that's a very quick run through of the, uh, the settings and how to set up your CA8345 using PAP3 software. Now, the final thing we wanted to look at was the monitoring session. Now, a monitoring session is when we're carrying out a survey to EN50160. So we go to Instruments and Configure Monitoring. Now, if we want to carry out a survey to EN50160, we can set EN50160 defaults by pressing this button here. That will set all of these values to the defaults used to configure that type of logging session. So if we just have a quick look, we can see parameters on here like the nominal voltage and the aggregation period. Moving through, we can see the slow variation thresholds. So these are the sort of triggers that are set up for that. Interruptions and rapid change in voltage. So this is more of our, our transient events. Voltage dips and swells. And the actual definitions for the transient triggers. So if we want to set up a, a monitoring session to EN50160, the way we do that is obviously we set these parameters and then we can schedule it at the bottom here. And we can schedule a start and stop time for the session. And then we simply press OK and that will be loaded to the device. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully now you can see how easy it is to set up the CA8345 using your PC and our PAT3 software. If you've liked this video, please pop down and give us a like below. If you want to see more videos like it, please subscribe to our channel. And if you'd like any more information, please drop us a message in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.